Well, hello again. Welcome back. Today is April 15th, and I am 33 weeks and three days pregnant. I had all the best intentions to try and film this video on Saturday when I was 33 weeks and <clears throat> just have no energy. I still am really having a hard time. Um, I worked three night shifts this set, and um, I cannot seem to flip back to trying to be awake during the day. I'm just exhausted. I feel like I could nap all day. Um, but I need to get my system back around before I go back to work. So I'm already two days into my days off and still asleep. Uh, this week did start out really well though. I um, got, to, got to see a couple of friends. I went over and saw Jen. We had a great visit. It had been uh, far too long. And um, she did give me her old um, stability ball from when she was pregnant with Taya, her little one. Um, I brought this to work first two nights that I worked and did everything I could to patch holes and keep pumping up <laughs> throughout the night. Um, but finally by the third night I was just done with it. If I did have more time that I was working before I went off, I would probably go out and buy a second ball, one for at home and one for at work, because they're just so fabulous. Um, and it really feels like it helps my hips and my back and keeps my posture good through the nights. <clears throat> but I only have two more sets, so I don't think I will go ahead and buy another one. Um, I also saw Nikki. Um, <laughs> she came up, actually she was in Victoria and came through, and we did some prep for the baby shower that we're going to throw on Mother's Day for all of my mostly family and a few friends. And I'm really excited about that. We planned out the um, invitations and we'll get those out shortly. And just had a lot of fun kind of deciding about food and favors and stuff like that. So definitely really excited. Um, it just seems like so much fun. Brad and I did go to that prenatal yoga class with my yoga instructor. It was great. It was um, definitely still go um, definitely more geared towards dad and how to support mom and um, stuff during the labor, how to do different massage techniques and different positions to help, um, let's say, me get in and out of and things like that. It was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, I think Brad did too. <clears throat> He's talked about it a couple of times since, so I definitely think he got a few things out of it. Really how to keep that um, masculine energy when you're worried about your wife, um, how to be more just supportive and know that she can do it and that it's a natural thing. So kind of give her the strength to keep going even if she hits those walls that she doesn't think she can go any further. So I really definitely enjoyed that class. Um, a couple of new symptoms this week um, or worsening symptoms this week. Um, my edema getting some really puffy legs by the end of the day. Um, I'd say I'm even waking up quite puffy already. Um, had to take off um, my rings. My diamond still fits um, pretty good, but my wedding band is a half a size smaller and it's a lot of work to get that off. So um, I did take them off. I will probably wear um, my engagement ring a bit more because I think I've got a little bit more time with it. Um, but my legs are just so heavy. Um, they're not too bad today. I think it might have been the nights made it tougher. Um, I don't find that I drink quite as much on nights. <clears throat> Stay hydrated. So they're catching up still too. I also got my first stretch marks. This is really um kind of a harder one. I really thought that my mom didn't get any stretch marks and you know it'll be fine I'll just make my oil and apply it all the time and it'll be fine I did run out of vitamin E oil um, probably about four months in and I didn't buy any more I figured the other oils were probably good enough um, I've now bought more vitamin E oil and I'll put it back in my um, my oils for the stretch marks um, probably did make a bit of difference but I don't know sometimes they say if you just got the jeans to get them then you're going to get them no matter what so I can't really see it unless I'm looking in the mirror it's all kind of lower than the belly button um, but some stretch marks down there now it's very sad 
Um, most of the symptoms and stuff, I'm like, ah, they'll go away, it's no big deal. But that one's permanent and will be here even after baby's born. So it's a little more to wrap your head around, but that's just the way it is. They're my mummy tiger stripes, right? I think other than pure exhaustion, that is the only other symptom that I have. And I am blaming the pregnancy partially, but I know it's a lot work related as well. So um, only two more sets for work, four more days and four more nights in total and I am off. So as of April 29th will be my last day that I have to work and hopefully I will have some energy to kind of get everything else done that I want to get done before this baby's born. I think that is it for week 33. I will see you next week. I hope you're enjoying these. Please hit the like button if you are and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.